Hey guys, happy Splasher here. I'm going to do something a little different and start some instructional videos on some aspects of Mighty Party. Uh, this will be part of a video series, I guess, in terms of explaining certain concepts or certain items that people may not be familiar about. So this is going to be different from the Dark Tower and Pit Runs and also from the events. And this will just be more of an informational uh, things that I've seen in regards to the game, and again, uh, highlighting different aspects about the game. So right now I want to talk about pets. So pets are a thing that were introduced fairly recently, I would say maybe within, within the past two years. And what pets are, they're actually in addition to your team. So you have your units, and then you have your warlords. And uh, as you can see here, we have this particular pet here. Uh, what you would do is, and I'll just show you what it looks like from scratch. You click on your warlord of choice, and you click on them, and then you'll see this little spot here where it has a plus sign. So this plus sign, once you click on it, it will allow you to choose the pet that you have available. So I have two pets that are available. In order to get a pet, you would need to complete a set of quests. They're called Hunt, from what I understand. I don't have it activated anymore because I completed those quests. Those quests are ranging from very easy to difficult. There'll be things like, oh, you have to summon a certain number of units or open a certain amount of chests, spend gems, etc., etc. And once you do, you'll be able to complete and get this pet. Pets, this particular pet here is for free to play players if you want to get a better pet you would have to spend for premium currency which in this case are uh, we're on congregate right now so we are using creds to do so you can either buy the creds or you can do surveys or other in-game uh, sorry separate third game application third party applications in order to get them but they do take a little bit of time. Some of them do cost money, some of them are free. You can check those out by going to, uh, so in Congregate, it would be uh, my Kong, and then clicking on creds here. I guess it didn't show up because I dropped out a little bit too much of the screen. But yeah, on Congregate, you go to look for the uh, surveys and the creds to get it. So once you have the pet, you'll have to do is this thing called hunt. Um, this particular pet, it starts, it gives, uh, as a passive skill here, so it gives your Warlord a little bit of a health boost, and then whenever you summon one of your units, it will give them a little bit of a health boost. It starts at level 1, and in order to get better abilities, you will have to do the hunt. So you click on the hunt, and then you pay the amount of gems necessary. None of the hunts are free, per se, it's not like it resets... It does reset every 24 hours, but in order to start the hunt, you would have to click here, uh, pay the gem cost, and then a new screen will come up. It will show certain quests that you'll have to do. There are 10 of them, and each one of them is going to be different. Again, these uh, will range from something like a win with a certain pet a number of times to open a certain amount of chests or evolve or level up certain heroes and usually it will be a base cost of cards so whenever you do do the hunt they'll give you something where it's like eight cards or six cards or something and then they'll boost the level up to a certain number once it passes that number on the right here it will then be able to level up you don't have to complete all the quests in the hunt in order to level up your your pet, nor does it stop you from getting cards. But the reason why you would want to complete all 10 of them is because if you do, they will give you double the amount of cards you would get. So in this case, let's say there are 10 quests and they're, each one of those quests give you 10 cards. So that would be 100 cards. But because you completed all of them, it would actually give you 200 cards. So whenever you start a hunt, try to complete as many of the quests that are available in those hunts. So we're just going to go out here. Uh, the hunt will be shown here. Once you have access to a pet, you can scroll around and see which pets are available that you want to up. 
there are three, I guess, three families of pets that you can use, but each one of them has their own little abilities. Uh, we can actually just go through them now if we can. Let's see, let's go to the So this here gets a little bit of a health boost. I mean, these are going to be pretty self-explanatory, so I won't have to highlight them. We'll highlight some of the uh, more difficult ones. That one. This here. Here. Okay. I mean, this one starts to get a little complicated. So, gives your warlord plus uh, health whenever you, uh, whenever your one of your units attacks, it will give a uh, give a health boost to another ally. It could be itself, but most likely it'll be a different. Whenever a melee attacks for you, it gives them a little bit of a attack boost, and then whenever you summon a ranged unit, you will get a little bit of attack boost. So that's kind of Here, so this is one of the legendary pets that you can get. Let's see what it does. When you summon a unit, you will get an attack boost for a turn. At the end of the turn, all of your units will get an attack boost. Whenever your ranged unit kills a unit, it gives an attack boost to another one of your units. Sounds pretty nice. Okay. You have this one here. Whenever so it gives your warlord an attack. Uh, sorry, a uh, health boost. Whenever your unit attacks, it gives a health boost to another one of your units. Whenever you summon a melee unit, it will give them plus attack. Whenever you summon a unit, it gives plus attack. So attack boost for both of them. Yeah, sorry about that. And then whenever one of your Male units kills a unit, the warlord will take some extra damage. So to find out which one of uh, your units is considered male, you would actually go to your squad here. And then clicking on any one of the units, we'll just click on this very first one. And you look for the symbol here. This is the male unit. So throw pointing up. Different unit. Male unit pointing up. This is an example of a female unit. This is the female symbol here. It has a pink color. And then there are units that don't have any particular gender. In this case would be this unit here. But yeah, for that particular pet, as you saw, it works best with the male units. So you could build a deck with male units, both male Melee and male ranged. That's kind of nice. Deal some extra damage. This unit here. This unit, uh, this particular pet will be more offensive in attack. So if you want to have like a fast attacking deck, you would use that. There's a lot of attack boosts. Cool. We have this is our base pet, the one that you get from to play. And then this is the pet that I use. It does a couple of things. So it gives it our it gives our warlord a health boost. Whenever we summon a unit, it gives them a health boost. And then it also gives an additional health boost. And whenever our melee unit kills something, uh, we will get healed for a certain amount. I use this one because, uh, like in other games, I am a big fan of uh, life leech, which basically means whenever something attacks, it can heal either itself or a life point. This unit is also good for more of a defensive battle. So more units are going to be bigger in health. And then also we'll able, we're able to last out for longer battles as we're gaining health. Uh, but again, it's really up to you in terms of the units uh, that you have to pick a pet. So in order to actually get these pets, 
any one of the pets that are not that free play pet. Or what you would do is go to here. So you click on deals, and then you go to the pet shop here. So you'll be able to purchase the pets for these prices here. And you can have as many pets as you want, provided you pay for them. But the issue is that you'll have to level up each one of them in order to get uh, the full effects. As you can see here, they give you a little bit of a, an extra bonus when you purchase them. So in this case, it gives you tons of gold, and then it goes up. So yeah, I mean, it really depends upon which, which units you have available to build your deck around. This one is more specific for males. This one is more specific for attack. And the other pet, which I showed, that one is more specific for defense. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let's take a look and then see what fits for you. Go from there. Okay, well, this has been fun. And uh, yeah, there are going to be more instructional videos in regards to other aspects that are covered in the party. But yeah, this is uh, Happy Splasher. Hang on.